What's up, guys? Welcome back to Days Gone. My name's Babs. I'll be your host. And, uh, yeah, I'm ready to get back into this game. Um, I've been wanting to play it all, all day. I've been excited about it. Uh, but I've just been busy working on YouTube stuff. Um, I had a long weekend, so I, I had some time to edit some videos and upload and do a little bit of advertising, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I found a discord where you're allowed to self promote. So I was talking to some people on there. And then uh, on top of that, um, I noticed that the first video had the stuttering issue in the very beginning. I still, oh my gosh, I've been, I've been debugging this for like four hours now trying to figure out what's going on. Um, so just a real quick rundown. I usually record uh, or I usually play my games with an uncapped frame rate while I record and I haven't really had an issue with that. But for whatever reason in this game, um, it, it's illogical. It doesn't make any sense. So the first episode, there was stuttering the first five, 10 minutes. And then after that, it was buttery smooth. It looked great. Second episode looked great all the way through. And then I got on, I was going to record, like I said, about four hours ago, <laughs> I was going to start recording. And um, I was just running some tests because I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to stutter again. And, um, and every single test I did looked like crap. It was choppy. Um, I would have been embarrassed to upload it. I wouldn't have uploaded them. It was so bad. And I haven't changed anything since the, the last, since I last recorded. So I don't know what caused it. So I've been debugging it. Um, I have determined that for whatever reason in this game, I need to limit the FPS to 60 frames per second because I think what was happening was a, um, a frame syncing or frame timing issue with me playing the game at 72 FPS and uh, OBS recording it at 60 FPS. So, but like I said, any other game, no issue. Stalker, I play Stalker at like 100 and it fluctuates between 100 and 144 FPS. And um, the, the recordings come out great. And uh, Halo, I was playing Halo, I was getting 90 to 100 FPS. But for whatever reason, this game, I don't know if it's because it's console port or my computer is going to explode because of all the rendering I've been having it do. Um, I had a, what was it, episode three or four of my Stalker series. Uh, it was rendered for 15 hours. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, anyways, so uh, yeah, hopefully I put a timestamp here so that you guys can skip all of this talking. But um, I wanted to give you guys a peek into what I've been doing. So we did that. So let's see, what were we doing? Um, I remember, let's see, the somebody, this guy stole our bike or found our bike, took our bike, um, this dude here. And then he said we could have this bike. Manny, that was his name. <clears throat> so... What are you doing here, What's this say? Oh, oh, there's Look, fuel. Manny, it's done. That's cool. <sighs> Having fuel in the ve vehicles is a good decision for uh, if you're going for like a survival aspect, survival game aspect, which seems like that's what they're doing. Hey, guys. What's going on here? You hurting? You got a hole in your jeans. All right. Um, let's see if I can find a journal. We got storylines, collectibles, progress, progress. What am I supposed to do? Ripped apart, what? Router, go track ambush back to their camp and take them out. Oh, so these are like different uh, quests or storylines or something. And uh, that's what the percentages are. Chasing Leon. Cool. Leon's a drug thief and a murderer. He's got a price on his head. Rewards. 100% chasing Leon. Custom accent? Custom skin? What? What's this? Uh, 
I, I don't know, guys. I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, we got He's My Brother. I, I'm confused. I don't know what mission I'm supposed to be doing. Infestation Exterminator. Crazy Willy's Infestation. Clear all the nests in the... Freak. Oh, I was just over there. Maybe we should run back here and do this real quick. All right, that'll be a good refresher. Let's do that. Can I ride this bike? Hey, Manny, oh, just let me. Work. Oh, I can. All right, let's open the map here. Where do we need to go? Where's the crazy Earls? Is this it? Uh, ride to Nero checkpoint. Here's my brother. Oh, this is crazy Earls here. I can't see. What's this? He's my brother. Uh, bug the hell out. Right at the Ner Nero checkpoint. I guess I need to go do that before I can go back to Crazy Earls. How did I get... Oh, that's right. We did this, and then it was like a cut scene, and then we were back here, right? All right, let's just go do this. Jesus, this isn't a goddamn bike. Oh, drifting. Ooh. I'm going to uh, turn on my controller real quick. While accelerating with the right trigger, tap B to perform a drift. Drifting while turning can take... Can help you take corners quicker. Well, yeah. Oh, lost bike. If you've lost your bike, either at the bottom of a lake, somewhere off a cliff, or in the vastness of the farewell wilderness, and all are close to it, and are still close to it, you can use the map to recover it to a nearby location. Okay, that's useful. Oh, this is gonna be tough without a mini map. <laughs> Thank you. Think I get this way. You get to the tower. My radio uplink has been shut down. I'll pay you to restore them. I'll pay so you to restore them. You know them because shutting down regular free organs seems kind of personal. Goddamn right it's personal. They used to be a Can part of the cave. It seems they didn't like the rules of stealing, raping, murdering. Now maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. <laughs> All right, saving game at the bike. To quick save at your bike, hold Y. Does not work while combat or in mission. What's that on keyboard and mouse? R, okay. All right, I'm dropping my uh, controller because I hear a zombie. Oh, I don't want to use this gun. I don't have a lot of ammo for this rifle. Got you. Nice headshot. Nice headshot. I need that. Freakers can be turned into an encampment bounty collector to earn encampment trust and credits. Yes, we we did, we knew that. This is it, the Nero checkpoint. I gotta find some shit for Boozer's arm. Okay. Oh, that's right. Boozer got uh he got uh, attacked by the what were they called? Rippers? Ripper dudes? They had uh, like cuts all over their bodies. They were like religious. So we gotta help Boozer because they like burn his arm with a blow with a a propane torch. Gosh, there's so much stuff popping up on my screen, and I'm trying to commentate at the same time. Uh, even though I have HUD turned off. <laughs> All right, let's get on this roof here. This, this. Anybody up here? Hello? Friendly. Nope. Oh, I got a flashlight. Nope, not that. Oh, shoot. I got distracted and I missed my shot. He's coming up. Oh, they, they don't like the light. Oh, 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 oh. How do I, um, I want to melee. That was pretty cool. I forget how to switch guns. Use mouse wheel, but let's try this. It's a grenade. How do I switch just to the melee? Sorry, this is probably annoying, but I did say at the beginning, I warned you that I have no idea how to play this game. And right okay, now, if I opened up my HUD, I bet it'd tell me what button to push. I guess I could just use this. I don't like using these though. Holy crap. Why would I ever use melee? Why would I ever use melee? 
And it's at 44%. I guess this one said it doesn't do much damage, to be fair. But this is kind of ridiculous. It's like, that's a lot. How much? It's at 17 now. It was at 44. Interesting. Okay, well, maybe I need to find a blade. I can use this. Generator. Is this stuff I can pick up here? Yeah. Somewhere. Oh, we're going to turn the generator on. Classic. Last of Us 2. At least I know how to turn on the uh, the flashlight now. There we go. Let's see. How much does damage this one do? Oh, it doesn't just tell me. And then if I right click, it switches off my melee, it pulls out the pistol. Okay. What's going on here? I got a rag, but my inventory's full. So this is the generator, eh? Come on, you son of a bitch! You better. It's gonna need gas. Calling it. We gotta find some gas. Pro gamer. Any gas in here. Some kerosene. I'm full on kerosene. Can I craft anything? Full. Craft a med kit. I just used one on accident. <laughs> oh, that was a med kit too. Not a bandage. Wasted it. I'm full of mollies. I'm full of mollies. All right. All right. Anything on here? All right. No, it doesn't look. Oh, what's that? It's nothing. Let's go. We're wasting time. Wasting daylight. We got one hour for this episode. We gotta. We gotta make some progress. At the same time, we got to have fun and I got to remain entertaining the entire time. Oh my gosh, I'm so stressed out. Anything in here? Nope. What am I doing? Looking for gas? Oh yeah, I can like look in these under these hoods, right? Not that one. Can I look in this trunk? Yeah. I was thinking today, I'm curious uh, what people's um, favorite game of all time is, or if you have one. Maybe you're like me and you got like three or four games that, depending on your mood, are your favorite games. But I would probably say for me, my favorite game. <sighs> for a long time, I would say it was The Witcher 3, like a lot of people, but I think my favorite game is Pathologic 2. And I actually have been thinking about maybe doing a Let's Play of Pathologic 2 because I think it's a game a lot of people haven't played because it's um, it's kind of hard to get into, but it's a great game. So I thought maybe I'll do a Let's Play so people can, can watch. All right, I've been running in circles. Looking for gas, right? Oh, there's a med kit. I've looked in these cars. Then a ticket booth. I don't think I can get in here. Doesn't look like it. I can get in this police trunk. Look in there. Ooh, got some ammo. That's always good. Remember, I picked up a rifle. What's that? Oh, it's like a table leg or a stool leg. Can I get inside this building? Oh, it looks like maybe it's locked, but surely there's a way to get in there. Locked. Or a key. I guess not. Um, oh, wait, no, you probably can't get in there until. <laughs> Upstairs <laughs> diving. You probably can't get in there until you turn on the generator. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. Let's maybe use our sense. Wait, how do I use my sense? There we go. 
find fuel for the generator. Is it in here? Is this that first tunnel that we drove through in the beginning? I don't think so. Ooh, what's in here? Anything? Oh, I can get in there. I can, like see through it. Am I supposed to go this way? Oh wait, so if your if your motorcycle needs fuel, there's probably just fuel that randomly spawns. So I guess I just kind of need to look around until I find some. Because I, I remember finding a few fu fuel cans at Willy's. Just kind of laying around. I don't know where to look yet for them. If I, should I be looking at trunks? Should I just be looking on the ground? It's a bright flashlight. <laughs> any of that what's in here fuel in here no what is the purpose of all these rooms if there's nothing in them are they just padding their playtime don't know. Back of the truck? Nope. Back of this thing? Nope. Nope. Anything in here? Some kerosene. But I'm full on kerosene. Oh, that was weird. It's a little piggy. Stuffed animal. Ooh. What's that? Bottle. Let's do one of these. Another bottle. Full on scrap. Looks like I can get in here. Oh no. What happened? What happened, man? I think I see some gas. Okay. Hopefully this is where we were supposed to go and I didn't just waste a bunch of time. Let's go. Patches. Patches. Hey, I found a fuel can. Yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys' favorite game is. Mine, like I said, I think is pathologic too. And that's like, um, like I said, depending on what mood you're in, you might have different favorite games. So The Witcher 3 is probably my overall favorite game, but pathologic 2 is like, it was that game that, that I was like, I don't really know how to explain it. Like The Witcher 3 is a well-rounded game. It's got a good story, got good, uh, the, the fighting's fun. Characters are really interesting and good. You can tell that CD Projekt Red really put a lot of effort into it. Whereas Pathologic 2, it is a game that gave me feels that I, no game has ever given me before. Hmm. Like it's, so basically if you've never played it, you play as a doctor and um you go to this this weird strange town 
for everyone's sick. Gonna bring them all down on me. And um, you have to like try to come up with a vaccine or a cure type of deal. And um, come on. All, it, it, the whole game, it feels like all hope is lost. It's like people, you can't save everyone and people die. Um, like people, the characters that you get close to will just die because you can't save them because you don't have any medicine on you at the time. And there's like a real time, there's like a clock in the game where you run out of time. You just dodge that. I'll dodge you and pull out my fire axe, dude. I ain't wasting. Yeah. Wow. Hey, two hitter. Nice. Let's heal. Wait, do I need to heal? All right, anyways. Yeah, so. Oh, that's probably making. Shut the hell up. Okay. So the game, uh, Pathologic 2 is stressful, but it's just so cool. Like, it's hard. It's very hard. Um, at least, well, yeah, it's very hard. Um, at least it was for me. I had a really hard time learning how to play it and stuff. And um, it, I think it's a, the developers are Russian. Pretty sure they're Russian. So a lot of this stuff has been translated to English, but I don't know. It's cool though. Very, very cool game. My favorite game. It's also not super popular. It's not a super popular game. Yes, sterile bandages. Just what the doctor ordered. All right, so I we got some stuff for Boozer. Boozer. Oh, hello. What's this? Nero injector. Nero injectors can be found inside Nero mobile medical units at Nero checkpoints. Use them to permanently increase your health, stamina, or focus. What's this? Cool. Nero tech. Oh, it's like a. Okay, so this uh, is how we upgrade. Injector. Um, <sighs> increase your stamina. I'm going to increase my stamina. I'm running out of stamina. Better living through chemistry. Ha. What's this? Huh? Oh, is this where I, this is where I store my weapons, right? Okay. I will, st I will store stuff there. I probably won't. What did I just pick up? Our unit is getting ready to pull out. Got word a few minutes ago. The work we've been doing out here is a waste of time. Hundreds of infected people are swarming up the highway out of farewell. There's no stopping them. Checkpoints are all overrun. Bugged out with your friends. Welcome to my world, you stupid son of a bitch. So I picked up like a little tape recorder or something. Weren't there only like five or six of those? Collectibles, was that it? Oh, I thought it'd be this, but I don't I haven't found any of those. I don't know. I haven't found any of these collectibles. It'd be two of them. All right, so we gotta get back to Boozer. I might just run and do that. I feel like I'm still like in the tutorial section. Where did I leave my bike? I think it was over there. Boozer, you there? Boozer, goddammit, answer me. <sighs> He's not picking up. Where the hell is he? It says I need to heal. Holy crap, I have seven health. I figured my screen would be flashing or something. I'm holding C. Oh, there, okay. It did work. Just makes a really quiet sound cue without the HUD. It's really hard to tell, actually. It's weird. It doesn't play like a animation of him like wrapping a bandage on his arm or something so you know that you've healed. I don't know if I like that. I don't like that. I don't know if I hate it, though. 
All right, should we go back to Boozer now? Okay, there he is. So this is where we just were. I wonder if I can get over to Willie's. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go through the... Let's go clear out these uh, infested dudes. Infestation over there. Check out how that works. Crap, which way am I supposed to go? Let's gotta get back over to the main road. right here all right back where we were I don't know I don't know if I'll need to use the controller to drive I mean I know I don't need to but I usually I like to use a controller for driving in games but Depends on how much driving there is, but I don't feel like I'm moving very fast. It's not too hard to use keyboard and mouse. It is kind of a pain to switch back and forth because I have a wireless Xbox controller. That's what I use. I never did finish burning out this nesting zone. I have a wireless Xbox controller, so um, it'll turn itself off after a set amount of time. Oh, it was like auto aim when you're on a vehicle. How do I switch? How do I switch targets? I I don't like that. I mean, I guess that's. Oh, I just tap. Because I can't aim at the head. Well, I could just do this. There we go. Oh shoot! I've used thirty percent of my gas already. Cool. All right, let's burn these. Uh, let's burn these nests out. Oh, hello. What? 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 Whoa! 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 You're a big guy. I got him. I swear, like, at least one of my shots hit him in the head, and he didn't die. I think too, but I'm not positive. Is this what I'm supposed to be burning? Yeah, probably right there, right? Yep. So they're gonna attack me? Yes. No! My screen shook! Dodged. 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 What's my health at? 18. So do I not regen health automatically? Let's see. Yeah, I'm still at 18. I have seven med kits. So. Yeah, see, they're starting to even a sound cue. Like, without the HUD, there's no way to tell, like, when you healed. <laughs> oh, whatever. Guess I get used to it. So we cleared this out, but there's nothing in here. Oh, I wonder if uh, that's how we find that safe that I couldn't find is by burning one of these out. Let's see if we can find another one. There's one. I wonder if I can burn it from anywhere or if I need to go to a specific spot to throw the molly. Cause like I could probably just throw it right here, right? Anybody home? There's uh, right there. So these are probably two different ones then. Oh, there's a gun here. Ooh, a little, nice little, looks like an AK. How much ammo do I have for it? 
How do I tell? Oh, nine bullets. Is this full auto? I'm gonna just test it. I'm gonna waste ammo. Yeah, it's full auto. So nine bullets isn't gonna get me very far. <laughs> No. Oh shoot, I'm like, oh, oh crap. Okay, we need to run. I'm like out of ammo. Here's what we're gonna do. Pro gamer. I'm like out of ammo. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Well, I can look at this guy. Also, the enemies, the zombies do have stuff on them sometimes. Um, yeah, we're like out of ammo for that rifle. How much shot? How many shotgun shells? Nine. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty good. I think the shotgun is gonna be what I want too. I wish I could have a shotgun and a rifle. I guess I got a crossbow for long range. You're not looking too good there, buddy. What's my health looking like? A hundred. Oops, sorry. All right, let's do this. You know what? Do them all at once. I ain't scared. Bring them all on. me reload holy crap i blew that uh that one's arm off stay down missed how'd that feel huh felt good pro gamer thing I dropped. Hmm. I don't know. I, I keep thinking about stalker. I'm like, okay, I got to pick this gun up and take the bullets out, but I don't, you can't do that in this game. It really makes you appreciate that. And that game came out in, what was it? 2008? A long time ago. This game came out. Well, for PC, it came out two weeks ago can't do cool stuff like that when you're and they're um, portraying this as like a survival game oh well that's all right it does a lot of things that are pretty cool it looks nice I like that you uh, the, the gas okay cool how do I turn this off always need screen can I not turn it off? Heard enough out of you. Oh, okay. Well, I've already killed all the zombies near here, apparently. Oh, didn't actually mean to grab that. Oh, I didn't. So, like, I should be able to pick this up and have the ammo. Nine out of zero. One bullet left. All right, well, we may as well take... Actually, we may as well take this rifle back for now. Yeah, I got 10 shots for this bad boy. All right, where are the rest of the nests? I've taken out three nests. There's probably one more somewhere. In here? Back here? Maybe over there, actually. I bet it is over there, actually. I didn't realize this was so, so big. But 
Yeah, this is, um... Yeah, yeah, this is that... You can get on that roof for no reason. I don't remember seeing a nest over here, though. Huh. Where is it at? I'm gonna have to consult the map. See if they're on there. Let's do it. over here all right let's back up where we were then what's this another one that's a nest oh, okay so this is there's one more nest this doesn't mean anything it's right here so we got to go back over yonder <laughs> Over yonder. We just blew one up here. I think it was like on the map. It was like right up here. Oh, is that it? I'm out of mollies. Craft some mollies here. Two, three. The heck? What? <laughs> I'm getting ready to shoot a zombie. Get out of here. Ridiculous that it just pauses the game. Pause the game after I kill the last zombie. Come on. I'm not even a game developer. There should you go. be clear no. now. Now you should give it to us. Should be safe to move through here now. Come on. You don't pause my game while I'm still fighting the zombies for that came out of the nest. Come on. I mean, I don't know how to code, but how hard it would be to to code. I mean, you coded for zombies to run out of the nest. So you know two zombies came out. Well, after I've killed the second zombie, then you give the mission success screen. Right? Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Overanalyzing? I mean, I'm not. I don't. I'm not perfect. But uh, that seems like the way to do that to me. Also, I know I completed it already. I don't need to be told I completed it. To stop the game to let me know something I already knew. It's pretty obvious. I mean, I'm playing on survival mode and I'm a pro gamer. Save that crap for people that are playing on the easy scrubs. Oh, I cannot see a thing. I'll turn on the headlights. Let's figure that out real quick. Probably one of these buttons, right? Aha, same about this flashlight. I already pushed it once, but you gotta kinda hold it down, it looks like. No? I don't know. Didn't work the first time I pressed it. Alright, so we gotta go back to Boozer. Oh look, all these zombies respawned. That's not good. Having enemies respawn in your game uh, completely eliminates the survival aspect of it. Just for the record. That's what's so fun about survival games. Um, you kill the enemies. Now you know that area is like a safe spot. You know it's safe. But when, when you're completely illogical and irrational and, and the enemies respawn there, it really takes you out of the game. Watch yourself. Chopin. Who's Chopin? up. I do what I can. Go back. What you can, son of a bitch. Have I met Copeland? Where am I? 
Oh, I passed it? What's this? No, I didn't pass it. Oh, there's something. Are those rippers? No, that's a zombie. So what was he saying about shotguns? Somebody has shotguns. Is this on my map? Nothing there. I don't know. Let's just get the boozer. Oh, I probably should have filled up on gas. I wonder if I can fill up at this safe place. Uh, safe house. Hopefully. That's ominous. See, like, there's no reason for me to go in here and clear this out if I'm not ready to be here yet. Because, I mean, they're just all the enemies are just going to respawn, right? Never mind. There's nobody in here anyways. Textures in here don't look very good. So, I wonder what's going on here. Like, people falling down these holes or getting thrown down the holes. I don't know. Let's go. There's a pickaxe there. I can pick up some time maybe if I need to. the settings there was a way to pull the clutch in on the motorcycle I don't remember what I keep on to set it to though the control yeah oh I might be out of gas no yeah Control's got the clutch, but my guy's not, he's not revving up the engine right now for some reason. What's the point of holding in the clutch? Huh. I feel like I'm just complaining a lot this episode. I don't mean to complain. I'm still a little bit frustrated at the fact that I spent four hours trying to get this stinking game to quit stuttering in my recordings and now I have to play it with a capped at 60 FPS on my 144 Hertz monitor but it is what it is um, I feel like I'm not going the right way again holy crap I passed it should be up there the top of the map hill or mountain or whatever this is I swear it's just up there I didn't, I, don't, I didn't see it just follow this road this doesn't feel right either okay this is right this is right okay let's go this is what the mini mini map might be nice for the gps just this but i should learn the map pretty quick I'm out of gas surely I'm out of gas my engine stopped yep Mechan mechanics can repair and refuel your bike for a fee the price adds up so take care of your bike when you can walking bike while your bike is idle you can walk it backwards or forwards using blah 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 if you're trying to be quiet or you're not out of or you're out of gas you can walk your bike around as long as the path isn't too steep Oh, another, that reminds me, for some reason that reminded me that another one of my games that I like, um, how do I walk it? Oh, okay. Another game that I really liked other than Pathologic and The Witcher was, 
uh, Death Stranding, which came out on PC uh, a few months ago, like six months to a year ago. I pretty much played on PC as soon as it came out. That game was amazing. And it, it was it was initially on consoles. What they released that on PC, they did it right. It looks that is probably one of the best looking games I've ever played. And um, I really enjoyed it. It was different. The story was great. Um, really long uh, play time, but it, it kept me hooked the whole time. I uh, Death Stranding was great. I don't know if I'd say it was my favorite game, but it is up there. It's great. Highly recommend it, especially on PC. It looks amazing. Like this game, I can tell is a console port. It looks really good, but I can always tell just like uh, texture pop in. They do a trick to, so that the consoles can, um, or I'm assuming, I don't know this, but I'm assuming there's a trick where they make textures, uh, they reduce the resolution of textures kind of far away or or something so that the, the consoles can uh, maintain a solid 30 FPS. And um, that always seems to be a noticeable on the ports to PC. And it really sticks out for me. It's kind of hard to. So texture, texture streaming is like a normal thing, but it just seems like whenever you like go and look at something, the textures are super blurry sometimes and look really bad dated. But if you just look at the whole picture and don't focus on like, like I'm f focusing on the tree right there. If you focus on all the trees and everything in the background, it looks great. That didn't seem to be present in Death Stranding. Death Stranding looked amazing. Also, it had DLSS, so I was able to play it. Uh, I upscaled it to 4K on my monitor because my monitor is 1440p, but I can upscale it with uh, DLSR through NVIDIA control panel. So. It, go up to 4k it doesn't look as good as 4k obviously because i'm not using a 4k monitor but it does make it look better and it looked really good and i was still able to get solid f uh, like 90 fps and it looked amazing and it ran great so that game's really good too maybe i'll do a let's play of that probably wait a little bit on that so i uh, played it five or six months ago all right what am i doing sorry i'm, I'm getting on i got on a little tyrant there I'm gonna go up here and talk to Boozer, fix his arm. He's waiting on us. Can I put this axe away? Is there a way to not have anything equipped? Because I don't really want anything equipped. All right. Hey, Boozer. Cutscene. I uh, found some shit for your arm. Boozer. Boozer. Hey. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, Deke. Oh, well, you're a heavy sleeper, off, man. Uh, let, me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no. I got Come this. on, let me see that arm. Come on. Got it. All right. Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. All right, so we completed that one. I accidentally stopped recording <laughs> right at the end of the cutscene, though. Luckily, I didn't miss anything. Um, but I bumped the the. I used uh, the numpad on my keyboard for uh, I used like four and six on the numpad numpad to stop and start recording I accidentally bumped it and stopped the recording but you didn't miss anything um continue i have to keep boozer alive so we're at 12 percent world's end don't know what that means finding nero don't know what that means cool 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 continue all right no starving patriots 
locate the Cascade Radio Tower ambush camp. And I got a new skill point. Oh, skill point. What did that say? Hit zero to open skills or oh, oh, oh. All right, let's see. We got melee, range, and survival. I'm probably going to focus on range since I'm playing on the survival dis difficulty. I'm going to have to take advantage of the range because getting up close, like, that's how you get hit. Let's see what we can get here. Focus shot. Ability activate focus while aiming a range weapon. That probably slows down time. Just your typical rinse and repeat in every video game. Slow down time when you aim in. Which can be, is, is definitely useful. I might get that. Don't really need it though. I'm a pro gamer. Fight and flight. Move and aim a ranged weapon with more precision. That'll be nice. Huh. And Vicious Cycle, ability to follow a melee attack with a ranged attack for massive damage. What's that, like a special move? Ability to follow a melee attack with a ranged attack for massive damage. Hmm. I think I might get... Well, let's see what else we can get. Let's look at the, we'll look at the melee stuff. Kill smaller enemies after successfully escaping from a grapple. Oh... It's my goal not to grapple, though. Ability to repair melee weapons with scrap. All right, that's nice. Improves the initial recovery and duration of a stamina cocktail. Juice up. And then survival. Eye for detail. Oh, I'm not allowed to use this in survival mode. Huh. What does it do? Increases the time that icons display in survival vision. Oh, okay. Uh, Hawkeye. Plants are displayed on the mini-map. Can't really see my mini map. Don't need that. Provides a chance to retrieve some bolts that you've been fired from across. Oh, that that's nice. That's nice. So I'm either going to get this or I'm going to get the eagle eye slow down time thing. Let's get. Let's just go ahead and grab this. Thorn in your side. So it's just a chance to get back bolts. Crossbow bolts are automatically picked up when nearby. To use a crossbow, okay. I think it's just a chance. I don't get all the bolts back. Um, what? I already have this. Oh, not available in survival mode. Okay. Not available. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right, well, this seems like a good place to end it here. So next uh, next episode, we will head over here. What is this? Gear up for the ride. Locate the Cascade Radio Tower ambush camp. So we'll head over here. I don't really know what we're doing over there, but uh, we'll head over there. <laughs> Oh, is this where, this is where Copeland's at? Okay, cool. So this is maybe this is like one of the main bases. So yeah, like I said, I, I still think we're kind of like the we're in the training part of the game. We haven't really gotten to the meat and potatoes yet. But um, despite complaining about the game this entire episode, um, I, I'm still really enjoying it. And I'm not really just complaining about this game. It's just like a, a, a cliche that a lot of games have nowadays where they reuse a lot of elements from other games. And um, it, some of the some of the stuff gets stale, but um, we'll see. I, I, we haven't really gotten to the story yet. I don't think I mean, we got Boozer here. I don't know how deacon knows boozer i don't know who sarah was but apparently she died so i don't know what don't really know what the point of that was yet so i'm hoping the story picks up uh and uh yeah i don't really know don't even know what the story is right now so um yeah this seems to be uh like a story driven game so i'm willing to, i'm willing to forgive a lot of the gameplay mechanic stuff if the story is good uh, story goes a long way for me so anyways yep yeah, i'm gonna end it right there guys uh thanks for watching i uh, hope i didn't bore you i feel like it's a little bit slower episode uh, next episode we should get some more action and uh, uh yeah it'll be great it'll be awesome it'll be awesome um 
All right. See you guys. Bye.